I've spent most of my life in the dry western United States where drought is a daily issue. The Colorado River, which flows from the Colorado Rocky Mountains down through Utah, past Las Vegas, past LA to Mexico, is an international symbol of what it looks like to legislate water in drought conditions. And the Colorado River is the most litigated water source in the world. And this history of conflict has spurred in the Wild West a saying, in the West, whiskey is for drinking and water is for fighting. Uh, now I'm a researcher at the University of Exeter. And it's that experience of living in water conflict that has inspired me to study how to encourage water use um, more efficiently here in the UK. And one major challenge the UK has over other places is the idea of a green drought. That is, that it's wet, so we must have enough water. But of course, if you stop and think for a second, what is drought? We see that it's not having the amount of water we need at the exact time that we need it. And that is an increasing problem here in the UK, as seen in this diagram from the UK Environmental Agency in 2011. Here they highlight that 12 of the 22 water catchment areas in the UK are actually water stressed. This assessment is made by comparing current and forecast rainfall per person with current and forecast household demand per person. So solutions are either to store more water, putting more concrete in the ground and reducing the already limited livable and recreational space in the UK, or simply just using less. So my background is in science education, but frankly, I found it just too passive, hoping that people would change their behavior um, if you presented all the information. So now I research how to use the techniques and processes of marketing to engage and exchange something tangible or intangible with people to adopt more environmentally friendly behavior. It's called social marketing. Now, folks may have heard of Nudge, where they try to change behavior in a group of people uh, where it's in the best interest of that group. The group is aware of the efforts that are being uh, put forth, and they can avoid the efforts if desired. This is similar, but instead of using behavioral economics, my research, again known as social marketing, uses marketing techniques to target specific segments with an offer to change their behavior. Now, an example of using social marketing and water issues is the recent Love Your Lou campaign by Southwest Water, aiming to reduce people flushing inappropriate things down the toilet. So their research showed how, why, and what was being flushed down the toilet. It also showed that most people were only flushing the three things they wanted them to flush. So using the idea of normalizing behavior, that is that we usually follow the crowd, which has been shown to improve other water behavior in past research, Southwest Water created the slogan of most only flush the three Ps. They also encouraged people to sign a public commitment that they would only flush the three Ps by giving away chances to win prizes if they signed on. And so far, the results have been pretty encouraging. In my research, I've most recently been working with small tourism accommodations, B&Bs, hotels, self-catering units, and so forth, to promote water efficiency behavior by guests. In a nutshell, even people taking holidays, we find, are willing to use less water. And that efforts by tourism accommodations can even further encourage water efficiency when people are back at home. So there's a transfer from holiday to home. So from these efforts, I'm generally pretty positive about the outlook of issues of drought in the UK. Watering meters, uh, water meters, water metering rates are rising, which we know is correlated with lower water use. People are generally open to the types of exchanges that we've been researching. And of course, organizations like Dry Project and WaterWise exist and are tackling this serious problem. But I also think that there are two wild cards, and those are rapidly growing population and climate change. And because of those wild cards, those unknowns, if you will, it's even more important now than ever that we continue to do the work that uh, these types of organizations are doing. Because we never want to see a Colorado River scenario here in the UK. And of course, I think we can all agree that both whiskey and water are for drinking.